بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم In many of Muhammad Qasim's streams, he mentions many times how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teach him what to do and what to avoid and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing him the straight path. Qasim puts much emphasis on one teaching that is very, very, very important and a huge key to success. That is to avoid all forms of shirk. First, let us examine shirk and its forms in the context of Quran and Hadith. Shirk means ascribing a divine attribute to someone or something that belongs only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even limiting the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is shirk. Because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to be limited in power, greatness or majesty, then it is something other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, Indeed, Allah does not forgive association with him, but he forgives what is less than that for whom he wills. And he who associates others with Allah has certainly fabricated a tremendous sin. The Prophet Muhammad said that the thing I fear the most for you is minor shirk. When asked, he said, showing off for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say on the day when people are recompensed for their actions that go to those for whom you were showing off your deeds in the world and see what rewards you find with them. The Prophet Muhammad said, superstitious beliefs and omens are shirk. He said this three times. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, One of my slaves became a believer in me, and one became a disbeliever. As for the one who said, We have been given rain by the virtue of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and his mercy, he is a believer, and a disbeliever in the stars. But as for the one who said, We have been given rain by such and such a star, he is a disbeliever in me, and a believer of the stars. Note that horoscopes are a huge example of this and extremely widespread. The Prophet Muhammad says whoever swears by something other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has committed an act of shirk. The Prophet Muhammad also said the people who will be the most severely punished on the day of resurrection will be those who imitate the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet Muhammad said whoever makes a picture will be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until he puts life into it and he will never be able to put life into it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Who are most unjust than those that try to create something that is like my creation? I challenge them to create even a smallest ant, a wheat grain, or even a barley grain. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever ties a knot and blows on it has performed magic, and whoever practices magic has committed shirk. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Spells and amulets are shirk. He also once said, Shirk amongst you is more subtle than the footsteps of an ant. Qasim said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him in many dreams that Qasim, I am helping you because you avoid shirk and its different forms. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said to him many times that Qasim, I will forgive every sin on the day of Qiyamah, but I will not forgive shirk. In the modern world, shirk and its different forms are everywhere. It's very, very difficult to recognize and distinguish shirk in the modern world. I'm living in a Muslim country and it's very difficult for me to avoid all forms of shirk. Even in one dream, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Qasim that this world has never been full of shirk like this before. A common example of a form of shirk is unnecessary picture of faces. They're even on food containers, bottled drinks, and other packages. They're on big advertisement boards and many other places. Qasim advises that if you see them on advertisement board, then close your eyes. In clothing shops, there are mannequins and statues. If you see statues and mannequins anywhere, then move your eyes away and don't look at them. Sometimes the government has rules and we have no choice but to follow them. So wherever there is government rules or other problems, then it's okay. For example, in currency, there are pictures on dollars. We have them in our pockets and the same is the case for passport IDs. This is okay. If there is a health issue and you have to carry medicine which has picture instructions on it, then it's okay for as long as it is necessary. But we should avoid all and any unnecessary items in our pockets 
which have pictures. Shirk is also common in movies. When they show any false god and the powers they have, if you are watching a movie and they show this, then stop watching it. If you have pictures in the walls of your room, then remove them. If you have children's toys, then keep them in a cabinet and hide them when they stop playing with them. If you see any small pictures or statues in your house, then hide them or throw them in the trash. If you have beauty items, perfume or other things which have pictures, then cover them with a tape or marker. Even if you have a bubble gum with picture in your pocket, don't carry it with you or remove the picture paper unless you need them or if you need them for someone else. And don't say a person is my hope for this is shit. Say the only hope is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Pictures on the phone and computers are okay as long as they are not showing. Hide them in the folders. If you have a photo as a wallpaper, you should remove this. You can take pictures but hide them and open them only when needed. If you visit your friend's house and they have a picture in their room, then don't ask them to remove. Just don't look at them because it's not your property and you are not responsible for it. If they want to learn and they want to remove it themselves, then it's okay. Otherwise, do not force. The clothing we wear should not have images of living beings. Even if your prayer mat has a pattern resembling a living being, it is much advised to use a prayer mat with a simple design. If there is need for an image, then there is no problem. This includes a presentation for work or other necessity. Qasim said, whenever I avoid my eyes from shirk, I usually say, SubhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves this word the most and he raises the ranks of those who say it. Jazakallah and thank you for listening and watching this video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.